Hi there, I'm Lindsay Anderson. I'm 24 years old and I'm an air traffic controller at Houston Center. I have been at Houston Center since September of 2019. My air traffic control career started when I enrolled in CCBC's aviation program in 2015. But before that, my dad actually introduced me to this job. We were living in Cleveland at the time and he was at Youngstown Air Force Base and he insisted that I visit their tower and approach control. So, but before that, I was really, I was really wary because I've never been interested in aviation. I've never knew anything about it. So I was like, oh, okay. But when I visited, it was really, really cool. I was, I was shocked. Um, and I really wanted to do the job as, as soon as I saw it. And I was like, how do I get into this job? How do I, you know, become an air traffic controller? And they told me to go to CCBC. Those controllers told me that CCBC was the premier school to go to for air traffic control and that I had the best reputation in the entire country in making air traffic controllers and uh, that it was affordable and it was only a two year program. And I followed their advice and I signed up for the following fall. I enrolled in CCBC's ATC program in fall of 2015 and I couldn't have made a better decision. The classes were so hands-on and so much fun the simulators, the real tower so you could work on real life traffic really prepares you for real life. And it doesn't even feel like learning, it's so much fun. All future air traffic controllers, once conditionally hired by the FAA, are sent to the academy in Oklahoma City for paid training. These are uh, classes that are filled with people from all over the country to become an air traffic controller. And I was sent there in May of 2019. Once reaching there, I noticed that I was a lot more prepared than my other classmates. Um, everything, I mean, most things at the academy, I remember learning in, in CCBC's aviation program from initial basics to non-radar to radar to the final evaluations. There was nothing that I saw that didn't surprise me because Beaver taught me, you know, everything I need to know. So in order to get officially hired by the FAA, you must pass the academy with a 70% or better, but the higher you place within your class, the more choices you have of facilities. So say you have five people pass in your class, there's only five spots open with random facilities. Um, so if you place first in your class, you get a choice of five. If you have if you place second, you have a choice of four and so on. So the higher you rank, the better chances you have of getting the facility that you want. So in my class in Academy, I was ranked first. So I was able to have first choice of 13 different facilities. And if I didn't go through CCBC's aviation program, I firmly believe I wouldn't have scored as high and I don't think I would have gotten to my dream facility, which is Houston. So um, yeah, the program really gave me the tools and the abilities to just excel and do very well. And now I'm here in Houston and I can't be happier. Now that I'm at my facility in Houston Center, I feel so grateful to have this job. This job doesn't even feel like a job. It's just so much fun. It's like a puzzle and video game all in one. It just scratches somewhere in my head, just so satisfying. Um, but it has also allowed me to be very independent. Um, I bought my first nice car at 22 and paid it off. I bought my first house last year at 23. I just can't imagine a better job for myself or even anybody. I'll always recommend Beaver to those who want to be successful air traffic controllers because Beaver really sets you up with a great foundation and teaches you the basics to very advanced air traffic control and they teach you how to excel in academy so that you can become successful controllers once you get to your facility.